Hey guys, and welcome back to Conquest Reforged. Today we're here on the final day of the Interior Contest, which is ending tonight at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so I don't really know what that is in your guys' time zones, but yeah, that's my time zone, so we're going with that one, so deal with it. But anyways, here we have three new designs to show off to you guys. Last episode, we got some comments asking to see a pawn shop, a book like a bookstore as well as like a desert home just kind of of that style so i know these are last minute i know the contest is due today but i did want to come in here and show you guys those designs that we're able to come up with so we're going to just take a walk through of each place we built these on stream last week if you guys want to go follow over there for to see those kind of being built live go for it all the replays i've decided to leave replays and whatnot over on twitch itself so we can just kind of leave that there and keep it separate but kind of still connected yeah, but anyways, those links are down in the description before I just talk about myself and how you guys should follow me more. Let's get into it. So here we have our bookshelf or book bookstore. Sorry, and I decided for this one to try and go with more of a theme of where you can come in, you can lounge around, you can peruse the books, you can read them. And then when you want to, finally, you can go ahead and make a purchase instead of like that classic bookstore where there's just like the table going straight across there. You can't get behind there unless you want to see the book from the bookseller and everything so i figured whoever is working in the bookstore would sit over here in this chair they got that little whatever open book and ink pot uh right there where they can be selling all their books and recording which is going out some just yeah i don't know just some whatever way they want to record their things i don't know i'm blanking on it but up here on this wall we have some paintings that like a local artist could be doing and selling those paintings off so you can come to the bookstore and buy some paintings which i just feel like it's a very normal thing to see at bookstores is other odd local crafts being sold there over here we got a little chess board for people to come in here and hang out play we got a few benches here just to sit on sit by the fire whatever it is grab some books from here read them all and this is kind of the bookshelf design i came up with i broke that block out to throw a little chest there so i know it's kind of weirdish looking but i think it works that's just the head block it's called a head. I couldn't find it for a long time. You just type in head. It's that one right there. It's just one of the player heads retextured into a chest. But yeah, so this back here, we got a big ladder going up. Up top here, we got a chest. We got an uh, amphora vase thingy, and then we got some candles using the red stony blocks. Then some more storage back on this guy, which is some other stuff hanging up there. I tried to figure out something to do interesting up on these rafters, but that's kind of the best idea. I came up with was just some more storage up there because I didn't want to do more paintings because we had those there. If we did more, it would kind of detract from those guys being special, be everywhere. So we threw a window in here just kind of to break that up too and add some more interest to it. That window is like weirdly un... Is that broken? Is that supposed to be a broken window right there? That's kind of cool, but it's on all of them. That's weird. Oh, well, back to what we're actually talking about here. Yeah, so this stuff is... Yeah, we got a little carpet in there for people to hang out with but i really like this how it turned out i thought it was pretty cool we did this one to start off the stream and just i wanted to make like just a simple like reading nook so this could be repurposed pretty easily into multiple different designs of like a reading nook or something like that but it's big basically this is our bookstore right here we can move on to the next one which is our desert house and that one's pretty cool too but i just want to give you guys a last little look here we got some uh, new clothes hanger block there on the outside, we did some tutory designs and things like that. Just get some extra bits of detail into it. But back here, we you can see we use that outside block to actually retexture that, make it a bit more interesting. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. I thought it was pretty fun to do. And over here, I'm sorry if you guys get a whiteout on your screen right now. The sand gets really bright with these shaders on. I don't know why. But this is our desert house. They I'm blanking on the person who commented. I'm sorry. But they wanted to see an Assassin's Creed origin style desert house. But I decided to just kind of go with a plain old desert arabic -y, Middle Eastern something or another style here. I think it turned out really, really well. We added this little awning to the outside just because I could. And why not? We were doing it in the stream, so might as well. But in here, we're going to come inside. And you notice it's going to be much, much darker than it was outside. So we have a little bit of sand being swept in through the wind into here. And then you got these open windows up top to allow the heat to kind of move through. You want a lot of wind and air moving and circulating in these types of houses. 
because they would get really, really hot because they're getting baked in the desert sun all day long. So you really want to have a way for air to move from one side to the next to kind of keep it a nice breeze and refreshing sense going on in here. Anyways, the theme of this one is this guy is a fisherman. He is just, he's out right now. He's not at home, but this is his, where he lives. All the fish he, all the fish and stuff he has kind of is in here. Needs to clean up his place, obviously, because there's some sand being swept in here. He got the broom. But yeah, this is kind of the life of a fisherman in the like Middle Eastern, ancient origins, whatever time zone you want to call it. So here we have a little sitting area. He's got some t new chairs and whatnot. Also did not know there's this wicker chair and that one. Just so you guys can know, I didn't realize that until we were building this. Just different heights. You can use a little slight bit of variation. If you just hit C, you can grab them right there through the open thingy. Not really sure why that. Oh, yeah, that's to the basement. But yeah, so here we go. We got some tobacco hanging up over here because that's really known in this region. We got his, all his little kitcheny stuff over there. He's got his fish. He got some flies around because the fish have probably been here for a little too long. We got the sandstone oven furnace thingy in the wall. We got a little wardrobe right there, which is pretty cool. I want to make this guy look pretty poor so he doesn't have a whole lot going for him. Maybe we can get up here and get a better view. Can we fit? We can fit. Yeah, so up here, that's his bed right there. It looks a little weird from this angle, but you can see it's basically just the wicker chairs. And if you go underneath, it actually gets the wicker texture on it too. So it kind of works from every angle except right there. So I just kind of decided to leave it, but whatever. I think it looks pretty cool. Here we're using the clothes hanging thing. I wanted to figure out a way to make a diagonal, but I couldn't do that effectively. So it's right there. We've got some more shelving and whatnot, all those fishing supplies and things like that. And a big way that I found actually adds a lot to the build. We were kind of messing around with it. Uh, the Me and the Twitch chat were just trying to figure out what we could do here, make something more interesting in this area. And we ended up deciding for a basement right here, which just drops down into nothing because that's out of our block space. And that's actually bedrock right there. So we can't go anything below that. But yeah, so that's kind of how we decided to go with it. Oh, there's a little bit of green on that. I didn't realize that. That's kind of cool. They're all like mossy and algae growth and whatnot on them. That's really interesting. Sorry, obviously back back on schedule, guys. We're good. Let's do it. He's got his little table here. He's got his little plate of food. He's got some more food storage over there. Just all this kind of junk laying around. I really want to make this guy, like I said, look poor. But this house is really cluttered looking. There's a lot to it. There's a lot going on. I think it turned out pretty well. We've got some more just classic storage up there. Really using wicker baskets here because I feel like that's the materials he would have in the area. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. I thought he was pretty fun to build. I had a good time with it. It's very, very interesting. I've been really loving building these 5x5x5 five by five by five interiors. Just because I think it's fun to not worry about the exterior. Just build something fun on the interior. See if you can get some ideas for how things are working. And whatnot. So, I mean, I know the contest is coming over, but you're probably going to see some more of these from me. So, if there's more designs you guys want to see, more styles and whatnot that you want to like get some interior inspiration for, I'm happy to give them a shot, try them out, whatnot, see if I can figure out even like a wall palette and whatnot. Because the wall palette for this guy is quite a few different blocks. We got a regular sandstone cobble, we got regular sandstone, we got the large sandstone slab, and we got the sandstone brick in here. So, you know, there's a lot going on with it. It'd be kind of interesting for you guys to actually like figure or test some more pallets out. And what I think is very, um, whatchamacallit, deserty or for this style is to have some sort of like a strip of a specific block, usually something colored going around this top, kind of just giving that a bit more detail. For this one, I decided to go with a plane. It's the sandstone freeze, freeze, I don't know, F R I E Z E. So we use that guy. Just going a straight strip going all the way around and it really added a lot to the build in my opinion, which I thought was pretty cool to kind of figure out, mess with all those things and just had it come up and drop back down. I believe this is still five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it is. We're good to go. Yeah, so that's this guy right here. Now we can move on to our last one, which is the pawn shop. This pawn shop here is kind of in the same style that I build Heatherport in. When we get back to that guy eventually, it's still working on it slowly. But yeah, so this one's kind of more of a steampunky esque pawn shop. Because if you guys don't know what a pawn shop is, a few people in the Twitch chat didn't really know what it is. But it's basically a place where you go and try and haggle and sell your goods, like whatever junk or whatever it is that you have, to the pawn shop owner. Then he will buy it from you if, a, if it's a good deal for him. 
and then he will try and sell it for a marked up price. There's a lot of American TV shows that are about just pawn shops and whatnot. There's quite a few memes created because of them. But yeah, so that's kind of what it is. It's basically just a place of buying and selling random goods. So that was kind of fun to work with and get ideas for how it's going to work. So we can go ahead and go inside here. Entering into this area, you can see we're coming into this downstairs area. I wanted to have it lead up to a second floor just because I felt like that was an interesting way of changing things up from the other designs we've had and a very gradual staircase here instead of the other ones are just very strict. So this guy though, it's pretty simple. It's basically just a big table right here where all the haggling would be going across right there. Get your scales weighing the gold and whatnot so it can all be accurate because the pawn shop owner doesn't want to get screwed. He really wants to be making the profit here. You're, if you're selling goods to a pawn shop, you're not going to come out of it with a good profit. Basically, just don't do it unless you just want to get rid of it instantly. Try like Craigslist or some online service for selling your goods, you know, IRL tips with whip. Um, but yeah, so in here, he's got some more paintings and things he's trying to sell. He's got some clothes hanging up there, some crates with who knows what's in it, some just random goods and junk and maps and more storage. And you could probably honestly is trying to sell this whole wardrobe right here with everything included in it. And up here, he's got some chairs he's trying to pedal off on people, a barrel, maybe some more goods. And basically, you won't see any food or perishable things in a pawn shop because they want if they buy something, they want to be able to sell it. Even if it takes them a little while to sell it, the goal is to sell it basically the next day. So that's where a lot of investments are going to come from is something they can instantly just flip flop and sell to somebody else. But so in here, you're going to see a lot of non-perishable goods. Like you won't see any food. You won't see any like just, I guess food is all I can really think of that would work in conquest. But yeah, so back here, you can see some more stuff, just some more storage under there, a little hammer maybe they're trying to sell. Close that, just a nice little bar stool to get back. In here, we got like a nice fancy wardrobe he's trying to sell off to somebody, some bags, another painting, some more storagey stuff up here, a little chest, some more storage, some more shelving and all that stuff. Just trying to create a really interesting atmosphere. Even probably the chandelier up at the top, he's trying to sell off to somebody. But yeah, so this staircase just goes up here and goes off into nothingness. So I closed it off up there. Yeah, so that's pretty much the three designs. We had the bookstore, the sandstone house, and then the pawn shop. Yep, that's the word for it. But yeah, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. I really hope to see some more con contest entries. We have quite a few so far, and I'm really pumped to get going forward with it, and we can get on to the judging. We're all super stoked to get going on with this and seeing where it all goes. Let me know what you guys think in the video description of these three houses. Also, if you guys are still working on those designs, you got till midnight tonight. Remember, let me know in the comments if you guys are still working on them. I'm really, I'm happy to help if you guys are trying to kind of stuck, offer some ideas here and there, whatever it may be. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you think it deserved a good rating. Hit that subscribe button if you really loved it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.